As always, it's uh, fun to start a day of Comic Convos, even today, like today when we have a short episode. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it looks good, man. Like we were talking about it earlier. Um, you know, Doom was pretty, like I said, I only played like maybe an hour last night, if even that. Uh, I think you know, there was a lot going on in it, like, but it, but because of that, there's like a lot of options. You got a ton of guns, you know what I mean? You got a ton of, uh, I don't know, what's the, like, uh, variation. Because you have different guns, you have like these mechanics that you have to do. So, like, you have to uh -huh. shoot enemies in specific ways in order to, like, accrue health or, like, get more damage or ammo. Which I'm sure is pretty similar to the last Doom. And there we go. Fix the video, because I had to, like, just move. I was trying to fix myself, too. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little rough when it's not live. Like, when we're both there, I can, like, put it in. But, yeah, you should be good now. I actually moved you to the left. Although I might have to do it again. There you go. I'm gonna be better right there. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna stop touching said, it. <laughs> yeah, it's like you said, it's rough when we both adjust it. But it's funny because last time we did it was really like easy, and today Skype just gave us a bunch of issues for no reason. Yeah. Wasn't that weird? That was weird. It was a little conversations prick. today. <laughs> it, it wanted to be like, hey, what you doing today? But no, uh, I, I, I'm pretty excited for that kind of stuff. I think today's titles was like Doom Eternal and. Shit, what was even the title today? It was Doom Eternal. Uh, guess I don't remember, and I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're. Oh, right. Predictions for the next couple months of everything that's gonna go for the industry. And I think there was. There was some trailer I was looking at, or I thought I had seen this week that came out this week that I mentioned, but. Well, I am going to probably check out that movie, The Hunt, probably today. I think that they're doing those uh, home premiere uh, releases for some of the movies. Right, right. And that was one of them. So I wanted to check it out. It looks like a kind of, um, what's the word? Um, and it's like comedy horror. Yeah, which um, are good. I mean, especially depending on how, how they're done, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh and what the vein is, I think comedy horrors can be great. Uh, I can't remember the one that I really liked from back in the day, but it was like Joe versus the root of all evil or some shit. Oh, wow. Um, and he like worked at a... You talking about Tucker and... No, Tucker and Tucker. Dale versus evil is a really good one. Although that one's more I comedy, like. less horror. You know what I mean? I like that. that one's really good. But I would say that's oh. like a very comedy, like... Because there's some horror aspects, but most of it's like riffing on the fact that they're like not actually oh, trying to yeah. kill them all which is great but i was thinking of the one and it's this guy like joe and he works at like a video game store or something and he has to like fight monsters on halloween or some shit uh sounds familiar like it's like monster slayer i think something yeah like something that. like that I it's think it has robert england in it it has some okay names it has no like real big names i think but it has some decent names uh yeah. i just can't remember the name of it off the top of my head at all and the other thing mm -hmm. I had mentioned was the Digimon reboot, which, you know, is oh, going, yeah, but we can always check that out. Coming out. Yeah, that, that looks exciting. I'm pretty excited for it. I mean, I, I always enjoyed Digimon, so... I was always, yeah, Digimon fan. So I think I was more a Digimon fan than I was a Pokemon fan. <laughs> I, think, I just like the designs better. I think it was more interesting to me in a lot of ways because, like, for one, I thought, I thought it was cool that all of the their names ended with mon you know what i mean <laughs> i know it's kind yeah. of a dumb reason to like it more but i kind of like that you know what i mean that it was always like agumon or super mecha agumon and doraemon and <laughs> i know doraemon's in the whole anime i'm just making fun of the fun of the riff style um but i i think the storytelling was overall better in digimon because it wasn't like adapting and selling a card game so it kind of had to stand on its own well, but um, that was that's what I felt about Digimon. Man, we gotta get these. Yeah, it looks it looks good. I, I are they just doing like um 
Are they just revamping like the first series? I, I don't even. Movie? I don't even really know. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I don't know what it feels like to me. It I don't is. Know. I heard that, that was the other older. one. Bloodshot. Bloodshot was the one I wanted to look into more and do the the trailer, and I forgot. Maybe we'll do that next week. We'll cover Bloodshot. Cause that one, yeah, I wanted to go see in theaters, but we're thinking, yeah, they get yeah with all the like, theaters. That one. They yeah. said it's supposed to release that one early too on video on demand, so maybe I'll just catch it that way. I'm really hoping, like, because they said they postponed it, but maybe they'll actually do the at home release for New Mutants. Because I really want to watch it, but I really want to watch it too. But the re- like, the release date's still know. listed as like April third. I re- it should be too. one man, but it's releases on my birthday, and I really want to watch it. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> I was like planned. I got my I got work over. I can't go to the theater. I was like, I need. I've been waiting two years for this movie since its original goddamn trailer or okay. some shit like that. And now they have a good trailer out finally, and I'm hyped as hell for it. And they're like, nah, man, everyone's sick, and you need to stay inside. And I'm like, man, I want to die anyway. Millennial humor. And I was like, what happened to all those millennials who joked about dying? <laughs> you pansies. <laughs> no, but I, th- I thought that was an interesting thing of this is, like, you kind of get the actual how serious people are about their safety and health. Mm-hmm. And, like, not going to the movies, not going to the gym, because, you know what I mean? Not going to shit work, a lot of people, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I am, I'm in an industry where I have to go to work, but, you know, a lot of people are at home and just chilling. Oh, did I end up putting something? Yeah, um, oh, hold on, I was gonna, I gotta answer this phone call, sorry, real quick. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> hey, let me call you right back, we're doing the Castor Fest. All right. So, um, anyways, uh, and today's what, a short I, one too. So we obviously we need to cut it pretty quick because we're already almost. I think we're like ten minutes in. So, uh, yeah. The only other game I've been playing now since this time is uh, Ori and the uh, the Will of Wisps. Yeah, I, now, I saw the fun. yeah I saw your streams on Facebook. I was trying to catch one at one of the times, but I think you are you're base you're usually streaming when I'm at, like work or like doing other stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm it's like kinda just whenever I can. I'm just no, like, and I I'm the same way. Here. Like I don't have my set schedule. I wish I did, but. It's cool though. Yeah, it looked really cool though. I like the graphics and stuff, and it looks really yeah, good. It's, uh, it's honestly it's much better than the first one. I, I like the they've improved a lot of things. Um, they've added like a, a weapon wheel. I don't think I remember them having a weapon wheel in the last one. Um, they added like um, special, um, like I guess special abilities that you can add like you have only and the max inventory slot you can do is maybe five and you get like i think there's like maybe a good 20 25 different perks okay That's what I meant. So, yeah. yeah so they're like 25 different perks and depending on how you want the scenario for if it's more of a fun fighting scenario or more of a lot of uh jumping um or just a lot of anything different uh you can you know go uh to your style whatever you want to play um so yeah they, they added that to it they added um I think that's pretty much it with just the new weapon wheel and the perk system was different. Um, the, the last one was more of uh, you would just find the trees and the trees would give you these upgrades and then that was it. You would have these new abilities and that was pretty much it. You just have to, you know, uh, use your new abilities for each new level you would come across. Um, but this one um, adds a little bit more uh, style, a little different style playing for yourself if you want to be... Uh, um, like I said, if you want to be more focused on fighting or more focused on jumping and aer- uh, aerobatics. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's been fun. I, mean, I think I'm pretty much almost done with it. I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit more. I hope there's a little bit more. Cause, uh, but it's an indie game, so I, I don't expect it to be like a almost 60-hour, 80-hour game or whatever. But uh, um, I think it's just because it's just so fun, fun that I don't want it to end just yet. <laughs> <laughs> I I definitely get that, and some games like I I sometimes you hope they're longer because I know Sekiro did that to me where I felt like it was the end, like they like structured. And I was like, man, that's really short, and then it wasn't the end. Like it was just like felt like it was the end. They do a really good job on some of those, but I think you're right. With indie developers, you usually don't get really like, super long games because they're focused on making a really polished product, 
because it's got to do well for them. Um, it looked good, man. I never played the first one, but you know, watching some of your plays and then looking at it afterwards because of that, it looked like something that would be a fun like adventure. You know what I mean? Like a yeah, whole... it is. It's a fun. It's a really cool story. That's what I love about it. The the story, the music, the art direction. Right. It's, yeah, it's a whole world, all right? All those, yeah, all these things that play. And then too, it's kind of a. It's not like a linear kind of game. You. It's very. The map's very huge in this game, and um, depending if you want to be that person who wants to, you know, be me, who's a completist and has to like go get everything. <laughs> no, so I know that feeling. Time. Uh, that's but, why I don't want to play games like Monster Hunter and stuff where it's like they constantly release new things and you gotta get new weapons and perks and upgrades and I'm just like I can't I'm too I want to get it all and I just like just give me a finite game like like Kingdom Hearts or Doom where it's like alright you run that shit you run it once you can get all the collectibles but then you're done although they're supposed to be releasing campaign stuff on that as well oh really uh, yeah, there's two like, I just, like extra campaigns point, you I... can do, uh, one that you pay for later, which I'm probably gonna have to buy. But I didn't want to spend thirty dollars for the season pass for which what was essentially like classic gun sounds and like some. Mm -hmm. It was like a skin, and I was like, yeah, that's like one third of the original price of the game, or so. It's like actually half. It was half because it's like sixty dollars for the game, and for the ultra edition is ninety dollars. Yeah. and i was like yeah. and i'm just like i just cannot like i want the extra two campaign things and i probably will buy them for the exorbitant amount they'll cost later but i just can't mm -hmm. justify it for like that first purchase or i'm like i don't know what you're releasing like I, I keep doing myself like bad on that for games where i'm like i'll buy the full version right up the hundred dollar like class version and then i won't make it that long through the game you know what i mean like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, the most recent one, did uh, Ultimate did that to me. I like, got the really good one, and then I was like, not into the game enough to make it to all the fucking DLC shit. And yeah, Kakarot, yeah, that's... Kakarot was kind of the same. Like, it's fun to play through, but it's just a story. So like, what, yeah, they added the beer stuff or whatever now, but there's just not that much replay replayability in it. Mm -hmm. Whereas like Doom is like because it's the combat simulator and you can go through that same area like four times and it won't go the same way for you because <laughs> you didn't hit the shot exactly right with a, with a, uh, what difficulty are you playing it on mm, i'm not so there's like two different styles of settings on the difficulty you have like your base difficulty of like how hard the uh -huh. ai and the, you know the weapons and stuff are like to get ammo and stuff like drops and how much fuel drops you have etc um, and then you have like the secondary setting, which is like kind of the hardcore gamer setting where it's like, okay, you only get, uh, one save and, or once you're out of extra lives, you're done. Like your game's over and you'll have to start over. And then you have like real hardcore mode where it's like, if you die once game over. Okay. But, and, but those last two, right. The last two, the game over and the like semi hardcore mode are applied on top of the original difficulty modifier. So like you can have an easy game that is still hardcore. So the okay. enemies are all easy, but if you die one time, you you lose and you have to start all oh, over. Okay. So it's, it's an interesting style of doing it, honestly. It's different. Yeah. Uh, they had, there was something else too. Like they, I got to finish farther in the game to open up like battle mode and other stuff, which is like, apparently mm -hmm. they did some like, you can go into other people's games and like kind of fuck around with them, I guess, as like a monster or oh, something. Yeah, kind of like Dark Souls did. Okay, yeah. Which is a little interesting. I'm not sure, like, I, that's just what I've heard. I haven't that's actually the, seen any footage or. The point of that, though, I, really. I I'm know. not sure because they tried to do multiplayer the whatever the last time and it kind of didn't work, which was the whole point. Um, but well, at the same the time, online, like the battling PV, uh, yeah, but they're PV. not doing that. They're just doing, like I said, kind of world raids. So I'm not, or at least that's what I heard. I don't know. It's, I, I, I gotta oh, see it, it and hear it. The other, there was one cool thing my cousin told me about though, which was they have EXP share across characters. So you can have like four friends and you can link and whenever they're playing, you earn experience on your character to like get. Okay. custom mods or whatever like unlocks huh. for your whatever the fuck it is 
And I was like, ah, that's pretty cool. You can grind together without actually being together because it's a solo game. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's <laughs> My thing is, why wouldn't you do a, if you're going to do multiplayer instead of battle versus, why wouldn't you do like a squad system? Kind of like Left 4 Dead. Yeah. I think uh, that would my, be the best run you know for a game doing. I want to try is uh, GTFO. It's on right now. Uh, my cousin has that as well. He was telling me good things about that. I haven't gotten that one because I don't that's even know what so it's about. Get the f- I know it's Get the Fuck Out, right? I mean, isn't is that not yeah, it? Yeah, that's a sad story. Yeah, survival looks, first looks person so game. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of do remember hearing about this one. He said it was pretty cool and that the maps are really good. The, the ratings are awesome. I, I think I just... What they're supposed to be doing for is that every i don't know if it's every week or however they recycle the um system but uh they supposed to change Ugh. the map every time around so it's not supposed to be every time you go in with your friends it's not supposed to be the same every time yeah and it's supposedly like a it's just basically a darker and deadlier left for dead i guess yeah yeah which exactly, is which but... is cool my problem was the price tag for it and how much are they selling for steam 40 i think well, I mean, it's not super bad or anything it's just one of those things where it's like i have to like invest the, in a game and yeah. i feel like gtfo is something that you need friends to play with like you don't oh, need yeah, them but yeah. it would be it's that's how it's supposed to be is like i'm even yeah. reading the description from polygon and they're like there's no matchmaking system and no friendly ai so expect to need three friends in order to take on your first mission. Yeah, the the AI or yeah. And so like I will like thinking, and I'm fine with that. Like that's what he was telling me is like it was really kind of tough. I'm fine with that, and I'd even play it with my cousin right now because I actually should be getting a little bit of cash from. Uh... Well, if you do, I'll get it on Steam because me and my friends. Uh, my I mean, I'd be plays PC and he wants to play it too, but I'd be down. It's um... all about the time and meeting up with people because like. That would be our, like, I, because I was even thinking of if I had enough this next paycheck of buying my whole group of people something, because I need something for the four of us to stream so I can get a multicam edit, because I like doing, I want to do a multicam edit, but in order to do that, you need to have multiple stream sources and people with cams, and it's like, uh, and then the quality, you got to kind of met, try and mesh them and hope they're similar in like video and audio quality. It's it's a whole thing, but even just to play with the four of them, I was like, yeah, let's try to find this. Cause I don't want to get something like monster hunter, which is once again, like a grindy levely thing as opposed to GTFO, which as I understand it is just like, you know, left for dead. Fun and yeah. You're just going shit. through and trying to see if you're good enough to Trust beat the zombies. Five. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Which is cool. I like that. It's a good idea. Reminded me I need to plug in the phone. Uh, but, uh, I definitely would be down. Uh, I'm going to talk to him about it. I need to see how much cash I can, spare to throw this week because i gotta yeah, wait till uh, friday to get paid if anything yeah i could bust out the machine the game machine and, and put it on there yeah because i was thinking of playing it but it's not on console just yet it's not only on for steam for right now. yeah and that's that was my other thing is like i already have as always i already have so many games to go through you know mm-hmm. what i mean i have i still haven't finished all the way through kakarot i'm supposed to do another nuzlocke for the stream because <laughs> i lost my first one by listening to the stream just yeah, hyper beam <laughs> hyper beam but what did it cost everything was it worth it yes <laughs> yes <laughs> um and so, uh, uh any comics that you're reading then uh, I've been doing a couple, uh, I think, uh, like Immortal Hulk and stuff. Did you see the newest Immortal Hulk with, uh, the World Breaker? Oh, I heard that that was happening. I haven't, I haven't. Yeah, they issue, came but... out, dude. Dude, just looking at them, like, if you you just go see the scan, the, uh-huh. the, the size of World Breaker versus Immortal is immense. It's crazy, like, how much bigger he is. Just Ooh, like so, I wonder. And I wonder out of the two, who would be the, well, and that's the yeah. I wonder too. Well, the thing is, you got like a moral Hulk, and then you've got like one below all Hulk, which is what I would yeah. call. You know what I mean? Because I feel like that's different. Um, oh, yeah, even the the guilty Hulk, or no, not the guilty Hulk, but the the Devil Hulk. Yeah, Devil Hulk is still even a different Hulk than a moral Hulk. I'd say. Even though it's kind of the same, you know, Devil and Mortal we Hulk are kind of. We see really much of Devil because he's only like shown he... so much in the Mortal, and then we only yeah, saw a little him... bit of him in, uh, in the, the Carnage. Well, called. you did, but we saw him in the Carnage uh, tie-in. Remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was in that tie-in. That's mm-hmm. right. 
that's where we see but he was speaking was is too. kind of like the immortal hulk which i thought was interesting so they're kind of hinting yeah. that that's kind of him him which they've been it's hinting been the at same, one in the same yeah but they've they just haven't like confirmed it so like to get it like there where it's almost confirmed is cool and i want to see how it is like you said here because like even in that panel i saw the scan of was he was like just shocked you know what i mean he's like looking at him he's like holy this dude's strong and massive and angry but once again i think it's going to come down to like the more the changes they're making and making it more mystical and like all right yeah i mean he's the angriest hulk there ever was and he's the strongest hulk but strength isn't everything right when you're talking about you know especially the one below all hulk who's like eating you know this the the presence of the universe or whatever and and claims to have eaten galactus and franklin richards which is itself a huge feat yeah so i mean that, that, i have to read that issue i uh, i got a couple of things to read too this is something that i was reading too that maybe you should check out too that you might like it's a little horror book red mother sounds familiar actually red yeah mother. they're all on issue four it's uh not, not well it's just like just familiar and like you as you know i like scan through all of the stuff and i just wait for things to either get far enough or for someone to suggest them or to pop out at me to grab them and then i'll just yeah, like randomly exactly. hop onto them uh, cause there's yeah. like, you know, there's just too much stuff to actually read everything. So you got to find the ones. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a lot of work. That's for oh, sure. Oh goodness. I'm so behind too. I'm trying to catch back up. I'm almost caught back up this week cause I had a couple weeks where it was rough, but also, you know, the world is going crazy. So that's not helping get everything on schedule. You know, it's like, oh, man, well, there's, there's the interior. Right oh here. yeah. That's, that's cool. Right that's there. a nice character. The character designs are so important, man. Like, Designing a memorable character who is like unique and interesting is such a big deal. Yeah, and that and then remember that other one I was telling you about, something killing the chief. If you oh yes, you yeah yeah design, you were talking about. Yeah, that. I like this character design right here for her. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool book. Like I said, this is that one, something killing the children, and uh, yeah, there she is right there. She's got so like this, like told. said, this weird octopus she talks to. <laughs> um, See, there's little and, things uh, like that, like character quirks that make them. I was like, it's a bunch of the anime yeah. are really good at that too. Yeah. So here, there's her little octopus friend right there, at the top. Okay. I see. Yeah. So she. Yeah. There's a whole lot of things going on here. Um, I can't wait to expand yeah here's here's some more like i guess there's like a whole like um cult <laughs> cult oh uh, okay I, yeah, I guess not cult but like a group of monster hunters sorry is what i mean to say that's and kind of all, like a cult uh, is like... yeah she yeah i guess you could say cult. and they wear all these like weird masks she has one too as well i think that's where you start getting into cult areas like the the, the like semi-ornamental like decoration <laughs> you know what i mean where it's like it's not just functional there's there's no function to having the symbol there besides to be like yeah we're that's our symbol and we're a badass yeah, so I'm curious on like what this is all. About. I even like the cover. Like, is it's this pretty cool. That there's more of them here, and so yeah, I mean, it's it's really interesting. I actually, this has been one of my favorite reads of last year, and I really think this is what some people should really be checking out too. So we really should start doing uh once we get a chance on the page, maybe not on the maybe not on the podcast, but just do highlights of like. And I've seen them in different anime groups, but they'll do like a real quick summary breakdown. It's like suggested material, boom, reading to children or, you know, something's killing the children in a world like you do your own summary, you know, where you try not to spoil, mm-hmm. but where you can get them, you yeah, know, just to look, something to attach. To the yeah, to maybe give it time. maybe like give yeah. it comparisons towards similar titles, you know, mm-hmm. I think that would be interesting just to give people a little more f- review and feedback stuff where they can like jump on to new things. I got the next month's, uh, yeah, we'll comic talk, we'll memes some... po- posted, sorry, I was like, the next month's comic <laughs> memes posted for once, so, gotta start oh. making the ones for next year, though, because that's how long it takes to make them all. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Still well, happy I did that, that year. talking about comics, um, I did want to say, you know, I hope, you know, I hope that everything will be fine for our comic shops uh, and everything. I, I did want to mention that, yeah. Stuff, talking about that. Yeah, we uh, should try to order ahead. Even if they can't, you know what I mean, you can't pick up our delivery, you should pay ahead and wave mm-hmm. discounts. There was a couple posts that were really... Um, but you should definitely try to support your local businesses in any way. If, if you can find workarounds for the stuff, like, 
mm-hmm. you know, the, these. Even if you have to pick just one book on your pool. That's it. You right. Don't to, you don't have to get like two, five books. You can just no. get one book. Or... And especially because like even people will have hard economic times, obviously, because not everyone like you and me are able to keep working during this uh, trend, whether it be from home or from the workplace. Mm-hmm. Some people aren't going to be able to and then we did want to talk about that the future of the industry and stuff and so one of the big parts of the industry is going to need us to help prop it up or else there's going to be long-term losses in comic shops i mean there's it's going to be inevitable you know what i mean in this kind of situation Mm -hmm. but we want to stem that kind of like negative effect so remember to frequent the comic shops that you support you know what i mean give your business to the people who are you know that you that you want to stay open basically uh because if you don't they're not gonna stay open you know and i've been thinking about that myself like how to like the restaurants i like to go to and stuff like how to get takeout from there if they don't usually do it you know what i mean how i'm gonna uh like my my local people like construction stuff or other things like handy people service industry stuff where they're not able to no longer i know a lot of my friends are like teachers from, but like private teachers, you know what I mean? Like music oh, okay, teachers, yeah. you know, teaching gu- guitar or they whatever. can't do that anymore as well. Right, they'll have to do online lessons. And some of them did before, mm. but like a lot of them are very like, like one of my friends is a live improv instructor. And so he's going to have it rough because it's with the latency, you know what I mean? It's going to be tough mm-hmm. to do live improv instruction. It's just not going to mesh well. But, you know, we all have to like take the precautions. And here at Comic Convos, we are as well. As you can see, we've been doing our casts from across the way, both for ease and safety. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're copping it. Look, man, I got I to gotta use tax write-offs for the thing, man. But no, uh, we, we are aware of the situation and trying to stay conscious and informative of people. Uh, once again, we try to let people know that you should read the CDC's website. They're probably the yeah. only people who know what they're talking about. That's probably the only website you should yep. be reading. <laughs> yep, don't read Facebook, don't watch the news. The news websites have their own uh, agendas and biases toward the situation. They're trying to make money off of this. Uh, the CDC, however, is not. The CDC is here to help you. And if you read their suggestions, they will say, don't panic, take care of yourself, uh, limit social contact, You know, practice social distancing when possible. If you're... Uh, if you feel like you're sick, try to go in and get tested. There aren't enough tests, though, so they're probably just going to have you sent home to rest. So take care of yourself as you would for any uh, sickness. Mm-hmm. You know, Maintain good hygiene practices in times of pandemics and not. So, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll go through this, so we'll get it through. And, uh, again, I hope... Uh, I have at least another week of uh, weekly releases I can still go get <laughs> this coming Wednesday before if Colorado does a lockdown. Oh, right dude, yeah. Release, so it probably will, that, yeah. I've A lot day. of people are thinking. And the thing is, it's because the whole country's copying California in yeah, this yeah, time of crisis. New York and then yep. Chicago's following. Well, that's the thing is like everyone – California is usually the start of it and then everyone kind of follows suits on the medical stuff for that kind of quarantine stuff um so. i i'd imagine we will i'm not going to be locked down just because my job requires me to be in yeah. and travel well, yeah mm-hmm. but other people will and i still don't know the, the actual specifics of how that kind of stuff is going to work yeah we don't because know people do, still have yeah. to be able to shop for food mm-hmm. and water mm-hmm. and so yeah okay, we'll have to wait until more news comes of that but uh, yeah but until uh, then, yeah. That. Uh, what else was I gonna ask? Uh, oh, I forget what I was gonna say. So, have you been reading Batman yet? Just yet? No, stuff? I still got to get into it because I want to get it, let it get through the arc so that it's a full arc of like the after Alfred stuff. Oh, okay. Because okay, yeah. I really hate getting left in the middle and then waiting and then people start bitching about this author and they just blow it up on that's the other thing batman spoilers are everywhere online and trying to like avoid them is like i have to like just ignore all batman stuff that's the only way to do it um (laughs) having said that we did we are doing a shorter cast today Um, where where are we reaching that hot today yep we are about there um but we we uh hopefully will continue to at least maintain the consistent weekly cast through this 
weird time, barring the loss of internet or other things. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It was like, there's uh, going to be other big problems before that, though. <laughs> Well, what else yeah, do we got? We got anything else that you wanted to cover before we kind of went off here? Um, Should, we've kind of been. Else? I, there's just not much going on due to the like most yeah. of what's going on is news of things being postponed, canceled, and like yeah. Other than that. affected by this current crisis. Mm -hmm. And then uh, obviously like things that have happened before continue to happen because they're not affected by that, like video games or anime or. Things that yeah, we've a lot kind of, these of already things covered. Things can be done yeah. still from home and all that stuff. Um, you know, but, so I mean, <laughs> that's why I'm still kind of. Yeah, the weebs are all good. It's the extroverts yeah. that are in trouble, man. The in, the introverts, the inside people like us who are all techies are just like, this is like a Tuesday. But you know, everybody else who's like used to going to the park and the movies all the time, and you know, uh, all the, you know, socially interacting, yeah. you guys yeah, are in trouble. Fever. Yeah. <laughs> ocean madness. Ocean madness is no excuse for ocean rudeness. But um, well, I finally did catch up with Demon Slayer, so I'm good there. Oh, cool. Uh, Black, yeah. Black Clover finally catching up. We're finally with the where they're at now, which, which I is, actually love. Black Clover now. Black Clover does a lot of good stuff after because it gets more adult, like most anime should after time. You know, with the whole death of Kronos or whatever. I forget mm. the king's name. Oh, good news. Did you hear about the bleach? Yeah, I did hear that it's coming back. I which is good because I've I've told people for a long time like the best arcs of bleach are the first arc of bleach or ba first main arc which is the Eisen arc yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, then I love that one. followed closely by the most recent arc of arc of bleach which wasn't translated into an anime because they stopped. Which is the last arc of bleach. The ending arc of bleach is one of the best arcs. Uh, but I'm glad it's coming back. I'm excited. I'm also excited. One Piece is supposed to return to English dubs, so that's cool. Yeah, I heard. The I don't know too. when it's coming back because they said it's coming back, <laughs> but we don't know when it's coming back. They just said, well, yeah. And then, uh, and then, uh, well, that's. I was kind of glad that they were going to bring back Bleach. I mean, because that that sucks when you leave anime kind of hanging and like I, that. I and... I feel like it should be finished. Most things that start get started should be finished. A lot of them don't. Most of them don't actually, but well, it depends on like, like what you mean, you know what I mean? Sometimes they just don't get fully translated in some cases, or like you say, like with Bleach, they just never finished the anime, but it was, yeah, it was taking a long, stopped. but the, the reason was it was taking a long time to finish the manga for one. It was like, yeah, they, they were having, all those fillers. Mm, well, that's because they were yeah, taking so long to finish because like One Piece and like Naruto and stuff, they would have a couple weeks off a year maybe and one piece not usually but naruto more so often and you know maybe attack on titan you'd be like all right well we couldn't make deadline this week we have to take another week or we're sick we got to take a week got to take a week this week and they have those built yeah. in their contract where they have a couple weeks off a year where they're not required to just you know hit every deadline with no excuses because yeah. shit happens yeah exactly i mean that's that's a lot of work to just keep having a continuous show oh, show coming out every week definitely like south park stuff that's it, it is it, it's very much is uh but the, the point being of that stuff is like you know as it comes out uh you know the the it's tougher and tougher and for bleach you would get like two or three weeks sometimes in a row uh, and I don't know if that was contract or something else, but like Bleach would have m probably two or three times as many weeks off during the year than Naruto or One Piece or like, you know, Dragon Ball Z when it came out, stuff like that, which Dragon Ball Super now is like once a month, but yeah, and that, that just that came out coming back too. Uh, it just came out. Uh, I don't know about the anime, but the manga has been coming out consistently oh, okay, once a month. Manga, yeah, that one's been. Okay. Yeah, it, it it just continues like every once a month, and then sometimes. Yeah, because I keep hearing new things coming from there. Like yeah. there's that weird gorilla looking boss villain that they have now. Gorilla boss villain. Well, some of it might Maybe be from heroes. from heroes. Yeah, Maybe Heroes has a bunch of weird shit too. I don't know all heroes stuff uh super they had some zarbon like thing they had a cool new android enemy but it wasn't a jiro android um i mean from the manga though is it like is it going anywhere new, yeah or is it just i mean new like new in the sense of like 
you know, unexplored territory? Hell no. Come on, man. Dragon Ball Z never does anything new. It's like, let's beat up the bad guy and save the world. Um, okay. In the sense of like, uh, yeah, they, they've been they've done the same for that's basically any anime though. Like every anime has a formula and they yeah they stick to it stick with to with it. the exception of like uh, Gen, what's his name, the one that makes fun of the other anime and technically he does too. Yeah, well, I'll have to. I can't wait till the anime comes back up for the super because I finally did finish the ending of. Uh, the other se- last season that they did that took me a couple months to get back into it i just there's so just much filler so much cheap on the, the, the anime it's because, because of it's because of once again the consistency of having to hit those weekly deadlines of an yes, anime yes. and we'll, like every single anime that's consistent like that in japan suffers from it even things like black clover though it has a much higher level of consistency I, you'll mm-hmm. see where some weeks there are just not great animations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there, but there's been some really cool, like the ending fighting scene. Uh, oh yeah, I, like I said, that, the that, that fighting scene was oh, yeah. awesome. Did oh, you yeah. finally go see Hero the movie? The no, one? I still haven't seen the second movie. I oh, just haven't seen any the movies lately. Ending fight scene was amazing with Bakugo and uh, Deku. Oh, they I'm gonna have to. And it I'm gonna like, have to check them. The, the my problem. My problem with every anime movie is their canon filler, and it fucks with me yeah. every time because they're yeah. a lot of times they're even good, but they're not story essential. You know what I mean? No, no, they're not. They're just they're just more to it. Uh, yeah. They're they're at, yeah. I literally did not add more to the the further the story or anything at all. It was just like it was just basically another day in their life, and that was pretty much it. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. Uh, I guess you could say maybe just the bond between Deku and Bakugo is maybe just stronger. And then yeah, they're they're they did you know think about yeah they did some crazy shit at the end. You're gonna have to watch it. The thing <laughs> is, it's not about what they do in the movie. It's about whether the movie has any effect on the rest of the series, yeah, and it yeah. probably um, isn't gonna if they. Well, I heard my my uh, cousin because he said he's a little bit further on the anime subtitles, and he's like, oh they uh. They haven't even talked about the, those weapons yet, uh, and he's like, they're already showing it in the movie, I guess. And I was like, what are you talking? Because uh, I guess he shoots some like gun-like things from his hands. Right, and but those I are even, different. I didn't even hear about those yet. Right, but that's um, different than the like, other like, way, though. Right the that's the movie referencing the future anime. That's not the yeah. future anime referencing the movie. And that's what I mean by can oh, filler is that sure. movie okay. will those interactions between Deku and Bakugo will have no. effect effect on their future relationship they'll never call back to it in a future anime unless it's a filler anime that's not and that being the point is like the because it's filler introduced and it's not part of the manga unless the author later on in the manga decides to incorporate it into the manga it'll remain a part of that like canon filler thing they, later they, on they, they may they may you'll have to just watch the ending of that movie and uh, i'll have to see because i'm they caught up on the manga ending kind of stuff yeah because like i said the well once again they, they might did. include it even in the anime but the author will have to include it in the manga to tie it in later oh. which is the hard part yeah yeah yeah, yeah. which sometimes well, we'll, we'll they they do like I, I mean brawly technically took that path you know what i mean and went from yeah filler to canon although technically still never i guess in the form of khalifa showed up in the manga yeah, she showed up right and then now because but they that, still have never actually show. they still never show brawly though in the manga which is they, there's no. no like dbs mangas though there's a lot of other weird like you got db minus which is a whole thing uh mm-hmm. either way i think we're hitting our limit on time today yeah, yeah, that, that was pretty much it too that's what i was gonna say but... yeah I think that was yeah. All I but had we to co- say too, but we but covered uh, most. There's there's not that much going on. I mean, we've covered a lot of the anime stuff that's coming out or has come out. You know, between the movies, the new anime from Korea, the old anime, the rebooted anime from Digimon. You know what I mean? We've been talking yeah. about this because there's no new movies and stuff and like comics. Comics are continuing to come out at least, but I have a feeling we're gonna see some drops well, in titles. We'll see. I I heard that uh, IDW. Is supposed to be cutting down on their their books, or no? I think Boom Studio is. They're not gonna either. They're gonna cut down on their newly releases. Aftershock is just like completely not doing no new releases for a whole month. Oof. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work for them. But... There was another company. 
I forget. I forget some of the other ones. Uh, Image Comics is doing a, ref a re uh, return policy for their books. Mm. Uh, Marvel supposedly just came out and said they're doing like a big super discount for their their books. For oh, their so a dollar. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, no, but yeah, uh, yeah. There, there's quite a few. So, and then there was quite a few other stores that really just came out and said, honestly, the publishers just need to like not publish books for at least about a month and then just kind of just push all their books back to what they can do because really the re the the publishers will be fine it's the retailers that are going to be hurting the most oh yeah i mean the, the yeah which is always so, the it's always the day-to-day -day people who take the biggest hits that's yeah, so we'll, we'll, I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens in the in the coming uh, weeks and uh, what, what happens with comics as yep. well. <laughs> well, remember, <laughs> so, yep, and it, so we'll just leave them with the message of remember to support your local comics stores and businesses in general, all of your local yeah. businesses. Support each other through these times. Keep safe and uh, keep watching us on Sundays. It's yeah, like <laughs> you're gonna be inside anyway. Come and watch us. That's <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> And uh, we'll catch you guys next time on Comic Convos. Damn. Have a good one, everyone. All right. Ooh. Cool. I think.